I got that lag for you, bro. Playing some Mario Kart 8 battle mode. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna kill our call. Dude, that's probably why my Skype call wasn't going through. Oh, no, that was just because I was injured. Stupid! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This stupid <laughs> profile picture that you got now. Hold it. To hide the mystery of your identity. Mystery of my identity confirmed. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Dude, how are you gonna do all this stuff while you're playing Mario Kart? I'm not playing Mario Kart. I'm living the life of Mario Kart. Shut up. You need to pull up the One Piece <laughs> freaking chapters, okay? Okay, just have to kill Alex right now. Oh my goodness, dude, it could take forever and a day for you to kill Alex. I ain't got all day! Oh my goodness, you idiot! Rage quit. Rage quit it. Not until I get this kill. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we have a special episode where we play Mario Kart the whole time. <laughs> well, if we would have arranged that earlier, then no, we would have still wouldn't have done it, but oh. <laughs> But if you'd like to play Mario Kart yeah, sometime in the future, I will put videos of us up on YouTube, like I've been doing with a few of our idiot, matches. I just died. Okay, good. Now you can join us. Uh, I want to cry. All right, dude. I have to meet somebody at one. Okay, can't take forever. Yeah, I've probably never done that before. Oh my goodness. What? Who knows? I gave you the link and the username and the password. Password. So you should be good. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Can we get started, please? Seriously, I don't have much time, you dummies. Episode 10 of the TK Podcast. We are your host, Kings Hockey, for Nova Trey, <laughs> and Blue Fire. Yay, we're in double digits now. Sorry, it's Blue Fire crash down. I should say a little thing. Yeah, we should do something special today. Well, if we have time, but we're running low on time since Blue Fire decided to get up late. You know, there was this media shower, and you just had to see it. If it was a baby shower, I might think differently of your excuse. <laughs> okay. So, let's start with the, um, oh, first we gotta say that there is no Coro Coro leak for Smash Bros. Well, there was one, but it didn't really have that much information in it. And I don't know if you guys had heard about it, but yeah, they're supposed to have a leak of Smash Bros. Uh, full starting roster for, you know, the upcoming games in this magazine called Coro Coro or whatever. Or they're supposed to have like a live broadcast of it or something. 
But that never happened. You know, they just leaked a couple pictures that we pretty much already had. Yay. But we will talk about um, the Pokemon leaks on that later in the episode. <clears throat> because Koro Koro did get a lot of stuff from the um, for the Pokemon. Uh, new Pokemon games coming up. And any other news aside from that? Robin Williams died, dude. What the heck? That's the news. Yeah, actually, I actually tried to watch Hook last night, and then I stopped, because I stopped. No, that movie's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I mean, I was in doubt, and it's greatness, I just, I thought. Ooh. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, let's start with the, ma with the uh, chapter here. So, it's the 17th anniversary of One Piece. One Piece! Yay! I love that world. Okay, and what do y'all think of this co uh, color spread that Oda's given us? Oda's on. Yeah, it's a Yeah. Frankie style in his hair. Yep. Yeah. Chopper's Lord. getting out of the bath. Drying mm -hmm. off. Larry's going around the green shell looking for people to hit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. Well, anything else? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Alright, well, Trey, you want to take the first page for us? Which page are we having you? Well. The first one. Ah, well. The word is blue fire well. <laughs> Alrighty, let's take a look at this first page. Oh. Someone just hit me. I mean... What? Someone hit you? I mean, uh, no. Can you turn your Mario Kart off, please? <laughs> okay, okay. Jeez. Like messing with children. No. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say the cover page was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, this page we have what is that? Um, Viella. She's yeah. Looking, she's like. Um, the entire time that I was coming and going from the palace is violent. I have I've never once heard about this entire princess mansion being held there. Where is she? It must have been a place I haven't checked in years. <laughs> and then we have, I don't know that dude stop. He's like, no way you can look into the palace from here. And then he's like, and then she goes, yes, it's my all-seeing eye. Illuminati. I can see my gaze far and wide. And then he goes, I bet Sanji would love to get his hands on that. Hey, who goes there? Okay, blue fire. Oh, okay. Uh... Ah, Saruto, it is I, Kinemon. You know him? Whoa, hang on. What's that miserable, terrible, pitiable creature there? <laughs> 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 this is the spring sparrow, which I will explain later. But for now, there is a more pressing matter to discuss. When we found our way to the surface, we were shocked to see a great horde ascending upon the, this plateau. Like, that's right! I mean, yeah, that's the problem. The entire country's trying to get here. <laughs> Thankfully, the difficulty of scaling the walls has kept them away for now, but that might not last long. Have it out here, long nose goblin fellow. I said that the system is in the What? They'll be here soon. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> King, Riku, King Riku and God Usopp are just above. Dang, these ropes are hard to climb. Cause <laughs> and, uh, uh, what's his face? That crazy samurai that draws. He drew, <laughs> he, he drew like a net for him, but it's all jacked up. Oh, boy. And then, uh, what, what's his name again, uh, Blue Fire? What were you saying? Conjuro. Conjuro, yeah, there you go. Okay, Conjuro says, What's that? Unnecessary? 
They're coming up here to capture to capture me. Oh, maybe that's Usopp. Who's speaking there? Yeah, I think it was out. Okay, he yeah. said, yeah, Kondro says, is that unnecessary? And then Usopp says, they're coming up here to capture me. And then uh, somebody says, spot it at last. And Usopp's like, oh, that's Robin that says spot it at last. And then Usopp says, oh, no, we've been spotted? Wait, you mean you spotted us? Oh, uh, dude, there's so many speech Bye. bubbles. <laughs> somebody else says, wait, you mean you spotted something? And Kondro's like, such a disgrace I am, repaying my debt with the back of my hand. The amends, the only amends at this point is ritual harakiri, which is like suicide, right? Stabbing yourself yeah. in the chest with a sword or something like that in the stomach. Right. And Kinemon's like, stop that, Kondro. And he says, fine, I'll stop. <laughs> and he says, no, do it! <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do about the guys climbing up here? And who are you anyway? Uh, he says, oh, forgive me, I am Kondro the Samurai. And uh, then we see a big uh, panel of uh, Violet or Viola, whatever you want to call her. Uh, she says, is that where you've been, Man Cherry? And then, yep, Trey? Uh, yeah, and then next we have Team Rebecca and Robin ascending above the second step. Leo, I found her. Princess Man Cherry's in the palace. You found her, bud, Lady Viola. Great, we're in the palace. And then Viola <laughs> says... <laughs> My goodness. She's in a small room behind the chapel. Do you remember it? And then Leo's like, eh? And then we have... Um, it says, the punishment room. Yeah, that's it. It, it reminds me of Lady Scarlet. Yes. And then Rebecca's like, Mother! <laughs> this is blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, there's no, no sheep buying this time. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. When we visited the palace and played, and played pranks with Lady Viola, King Riku would punish us by sending us to that room. And then Lady Scarlet would come. Did you get scolded again? You never learn. It wasn't me, sister. I didn't break the plate. It was Leo and them. Lady Viola said we could break them. I said you could touch them. I'll go and apologize with you later. From here, I've got some fruit. Aren't you hungry? We are. We all love Lady Scarlet. So very much. Oh, I remember where to go. Thank you for the info. Duh. Be careful, Leo. The <laughs> palace is the enemy base now. Watch it. Don't worry. We'll rescue the princess. Quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and then over to the next page. Uh, Robin says, we're in the air of the third step now, Rebecca. She says, thanks, Robin. We're almost to the flower field. Then she looks down and says, huh? Um, she says, watch out, rooster. <laughs> and uh, Bart Bartolomeo is like, the straw hat crew person is even better than I imagined. Huh? Something's flying up from below. And then we hear, pop baller. Rah! And then Robin's, no, then uh, Bartolomeu got hit, and he's like, <laughs> and then Robin's like, Rooster! And I can't tell who's speaking here. Oh, I think it's one of the little Beatles. Like, that power is it's the uh, power. Fruit. <laughs> and then I'm not sure who's talking here. Robin. It might be, it might be Robin. She goes, oh, no, my yellow cubs. Ah. And they're like, Robin! And then they say, it's Gladius! Never would have expected anyone making their way to this palace like this. And she goes, death floors! And so she puts her arm, she does her typical Robin thing and does the crunch thing on it. And he's like, Ugh! And she says, take the key to the flower field, Rebecca. We'll be fine. And Rebecca's just like, Robin! <coughs> Uh, 
Shay. Um, the former Royal Plateau. And it shows Usopp. He's like, hmm? And um, she's talking to Violet. Like, you looking for something else now, Viola? Oh, Viola. I thought about it. Uh, she's like, hey, earlier, I saw figures through the smoke and dust on the third step that looked like toys. I have a very bad feeling about this. And then it shows her using her, uh, eye, her um, devil fruit to, like, see further ahead. And it's just like, what is it? And then she said, there she is, Sugar the Lake. And Usopp's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? He's like, what do you mean? I totally knocked her out with my special facial jack-in-the-box attack. She can recover her for two or three days at least. The other straw hats don't know about her, this is uh, Viola speaking. Don't know about her or her power, do they? Well, she's back, and they're in danger. And it was just like, what? <laughs> that face. And then this face, the new palace. <laughs> Sugar uh, awakes with a, yeah! And the guy, uh, her servant, I guess, says, huh? And she says, Ah, stay away from me, you long-nosed creep! Everyone with a long nose should die! Huh? But I thought you might... Oh, he says, huh? But I thought you might be hungry, so I brought sausages. She says, don't bring me those long things! I only snack on grapes! Are you that stupid? And then, um... We see, like, an evil... Her, She, like, turns evil, and she's like, I'll turn you into a headcracker doll, too! Now go out there and fight! And the guy says, Gah! And then he lands with a thud, and he's turned into a evil zombie nutcracker. <laughs> and Sugar says, thinking to herself, I'm so sorry, young master. Just give me a bit of time, and I'll turn the whole country back into toys. Starting with that detestable long nose, and the rest of the Straw Hat crew. Okay. And then in the next phase, we have third stuff of the new Royal Plateau, Team Luffy. And then we have a giant nutcracker, or headcracker, as you call it. He's like, <laughs> and he's like, watch out, Sparkle. And then Hook's is like, Nyeh! and then we have the thing snacking right on his head. He's like, Ow! and he bites the horse's head. And he's like, get on crunch. And he goes, chomp. And then I'm not sure if I'm doing this page or. That's boo. Fire? Yeah. Alright. And so, yeah, Luffy's, uh, pretty surprised by the attack on Farul. He's like, Luffy! Darn you! And then, yeah, goes into gear set, and he's like, Gummy Gummy No! Jet Pistol! And, like, blows a hole right in the chest of the zombie nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, it falls over, and Cavendish is, uh, running over to his horse, and he's like, Hang in there, fool! <laughs> And then uh, he's like, those jaws are powerful, it has been crushed. Don't bother me, fool. Alright, um, and then we see a pan of the uh, head cracker, <laughs> or not cracker, whatever it is, uh, dying, or appearing to die, um, staggering everywhere that Luffy hit. And then, I guess it's not dead, and Luffy says, What the heck? I put a hole through his chest. And uh, then Cavendish says to the headcracker, You will pay for doing that, Blade of Beauty! And he slices the head off that uh, headcracker and says, Round Table! Okay, Trey? Yeah, and then the headcracker is like, <laughs> Clack, 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 And he grabs his head and puts it back on his body. <laughs> and so he just like readjusted a little bit. And then Kiro's, Luffy, and Bato, uh, and Cavendish are all looking like, you know, they're like, yeah, we're about to go to work. And then he's like, are these guys immortal? And we see like a bunch of headcrackers looking kind of like the pacifistas did before. They're all like, you know, menacing and coming towards them. <laughs> they look like the dry bones of Mario. They don't die. <laughs> <laughs> and so on the next page, it's a uh, law. He's like, Darn, if I just had a key to these stupid cups, I could take care of them at once. And then uh, Luffy's like, huh? Because he looks up above and he sees someone coming down at him. 
It's like someone, something's falling from above. And then it looks like it's uh, Bartolomeo coming, falling down on one of the head crackers. And he's like, yeah! And Luffy's like, whoa! And Robin's like, flat. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, I didn't so, even notice uh, Robin there earlier. <laughs> and so, um, Bardo's like, ah, ah, I got sloppy. And Luffy's like, it's the rooster headed guy. And I think that's Luffy's like, Robin. And she's landing, and Robin's like, Luffy, Trappy, who you are? And, uh, Bardo's like, it's Mr. Mr. Luffy. And, um, Law's like, Nico, where are my keys? Uh, where's my keys? Give me here. Okay. Um, and, uh, oh, shoot, Gla- Gladius is like, you let Rebecca escape, but that single, oh, somebody else, I, I guess, is that one of Gladius's, like, lackeys or something that's saying that to him? And he says, but that single powerless girl won't be able to do a thing even if she gets to the palace, I'll track her down and eliminate her. Oh, there, he's talking to the straw hats or whatever. And he says, my name is Gladius. Or Gladius, however you want to say it. And first I will finish off the rest of you. Um, and Bartolomeo says, Bartolomeo says, Luffy, Traffy, soldier. Wait. Oh, no, that's Robin. Yeah. She says, Luffy, Traffy, soldier. And, uh... Kira says, what, Robin? And she says, go on, go on ahead to the flower field on the fourth step. And they say, yeah! And she says, Rebecca's waiting there with the key. And they say, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Trey? Okay, so the next one. Flower field, fourth step of the palace. We made it! I hope Robin's group does okay. Don't worry, Insulad friends are very powerful. <laughs> and then Rebecca's like, I see, of course. And then Leo's like, we have to go save Princess Mash every right away, Lady Rebecca. She says, I know. He goes, will you be all right on you all? And she goes, I'll be fine. Lucy's coming very soon. Go find her. We will. Take care, Lady Rebecca. Oh my and she gives him a nod. She's like, mm-hmm. And I just know, Father will be here as well. And then we hear, <sighs> someone finally show up. <laughs> we find right. Rebecca looking scared, and then yeah, on the next page it's a uh, Diamante. He's like looming over. He's like, what? And it's like, Sarah, oh, surprise, uh, surprise. But so it's you. Bump, bump. <laughs> it's supposed to be a hard beat, and she's terrified. Yeah. Yep, and then we see a picture continued. of the flower at the end. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do y'all think about this chapter? Is Rebecca really going to fight? Yeah, I'm this... pretty sure she's going to get whooped. <laughs> no, this is what's going to happen. She will be avoiding like crazy because you know her special ability is avoidance. Yeah, or whatever. And then, like, she'll get hit like a couple times, like once or twice, maybe. And then Kiros is going to come through. He's going to come through. And then together, yeah, I, they'll beat him. Mayhaps, mayhaps. I think she probably won't be able to use her hockey to the fullest because he's probably going to be trying to egg her on. He already told her that, um,. He's the one who killed Scarlet, and she couldn't even fight him after that. Yeah. But now she's had some time to face her fears. Uh, I like Brooke did on Thriller Bark, Bark, except Brooke had someone fight his problems for him. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Thriller Bark had someone fight his problems for him. Oh, man. Brooke. All right. Well, anything else about that chapter, guys? Dude, I'm surprised Sugar's coming back. Yeah. Do you think Usopp's gonna have to beat her again? Uh, Hopefully they won't won't draw it out as long as they did before. Hopefully it'll be like a quick kill or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not afraid of you this time. I'm God Usopp. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, one of us is going to submit his legacy because he already beat it the first time. And she's already terrified of him regardless. Yeah, she might just be that scared of him, you know, that she can't even fight when she's around him or something. I don't know. Yeah, she's definitely got, like, one of the best powers in all orgies. I don't feel like Oda will make his go through the whole toy ordeal again. Right. That's why I'm hoping they're not going to refight any of the, uh, Delta Mango family members that they've already fought. Yeah. Uh, Giella and, um, uh, Carlton and Baby Five. Yeah. Even though she's fighting, they have the lackeys fighting her now. <laughs> the lackeys. <laughs> the Coliseum fighters. <laughs> No, you can call them what they are. They're lackeys. <laughs> you guys take care of the light work. Yep. Dude, and the horse getting its head chopped off or chopped? What the heck? Yeah, that was pretty uh, out of <laughs> Yeah. That was crazy. You took one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm done. Dude, no remorse. But it has no remorse about the animal violence. <laughs> okay so that wraps up our One Piece chapter for this week there won't be any manga chapter next week unfortunately because it is a Japanese holiday um, so we'll find something else to fill the time right guys Mario Kart <laughs> oh man yeah, so I don't think, do we have any anime reviews to do this week or no? Uh, not really. Okay, well that's fine. But I'll, I'll just keep saying, you know, I'm glad you're watching Hunter x Hunter Finally Blue Fire. Yes, that's good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can tell us what you think about Hunter x Hunter so far. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's mixed, I guess. Like, right now I'm at the part where that, um, in the, uh, the building, I guess, I forgot what it's called. Like a, um, the training the tower? Yeah, Chilo and um, Ghana are in the uh, training tower. Yeah. It's right where uh, I guess they met that little boy who got like who was like a martial artist or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, like he was trying to explain like his uh, ability, I guess. It's like Nin. I think it's called Nin. Yep. And uh, like his teacher was explaining to him, apparently left out parts to try to get them to like develop it on their own. I'm not sure, but uh, like I left off right the part where they meet his sofa again. I got it off. I like his sofa. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we went to animation. There's a guy dressed up as a sofa, and even has a move that you're gonna see pretty soon. That is so nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's freaking awesome. Let's just say Nin is pretty important. Okay. Oh, yeah, I was hoping so. The L, it just, I don't know, the way they showed in the uh, anime, it just doesn't seem like they're, they don't really have to try much, and it kind of irks me. <laughs> like, they're not doing any for real training. They're pushing and neck chopping. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's an all right series so far. Favorite character apparently is on hiatus until they reach a certain point. Uh, <laughs> oh, he'll come oh, through yeah. in a minute. He's going to come through. Cool, Pika? Yeah. But, yeah, um, yeah, it's a pretty good series. I guess I have to get further in to really, to really enjoy it. Oh, yeah. You're about to, you're about to get to it. Um, okay, well, we have extra stuff this week anyways to, to tack on here. Um, but first we'll do our regular Smash Brothers Meverse coverage, guys. So the one that is right after we left off is Pick of the Day. Victini and Xerneas are both support Pokemon. Victini's Victory Star boosts the attack of whoever throws the Pokeball and also prevents flinching. Xerneas's Geomancy increases the launch power of all fighters but exceptionally raises it for whoever had the Pokeball. What y'all think about that? Stupid. Oh! That's not stupid. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's just items, but dude, I, I just like the way he's like, finally like, 
He's using Pokemon differently, you know, like they actually affect attributes and stuff. Instead of just general. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess that's something. I mean, they slightly hinted at it with um, Gardevoir and Manaphy and Ball. You know, uh, Manaphy had that heart swap ability. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess it is interesting to see him be more than just like a whale on you. Because I do, even though I don't usually play with items, I do occasionally like to do a Pokemon battle or two, Smash Bros. style. Yep. Okay, well, if that's all, we'll move on. <laughs> Pick of the day. Here's the trophy gallery for the 3DS version. You can rotate the trophies by drawing circles on the bottom screen. Super Smash Bros. Brawl had tons of trophies, but rumor has it that the 3DS version alone may have more than Brawl. Looks like the Dr. Wily that we made from scratch for the 3DS version is on his knees in disbelief. And then, below that he says, here's something new, the trophy shop. If you're having a hard time getting trophy, certain trophies, why not just buy them? They sometimes go on sale, too. <laughs> well. <laughs> I, guess yeah, I guess that's also interesting. <laughs> It's like the little vending machine in um, Mary, where if you uh, put in coins, you got trophies. Yeah. You had to, like, kick out a lot of coins to get, like, the newer ones. That's way better than the coin shooter. <laughs> the coin shooter, oh, yeah. yeah. And then freaking Dr. Wild. That would be, like, vague in the Mega Man games for you not to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of what that makes me think of. But it has more trophies than Brawl? What the heck? Yeah, that's pretty frightening. That's a lot of trophies. And so does that mean the Wii version is going to have even more than the 3DS? Could mean that. Could mean that, or it could mean um, that Trey's playing Mario Kart. It could mean that, yes! <laughs> I can tell because he's not saying anything. He didn't just play a Mario Kart. I can hear the little clicks. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that destroyed me the first time. Okay. Like I was going to say, yeah, I also saw somewhere online where it said that it's probably going to have one of those. Forgive my ignorance for a second, but what are those things called um, where you got to walk and it registers? What is it? You know what I'm talking about? No. Come out with a 3DS where you, if you walk, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Went that, I forgot what it's called. Too. Street Pass? Uh, Looks like one of those things, you know, that ladies, old ladies were using monitor steps and stuff like that, too. Oh, a pedometer? Yeah. Yeah, it's got one of those built in. So I think, I saw that somewhere else on another site where it said that you're probably going to be able to do that to, like, get, like, bonuses off on items and stuff like that. That's cool. Oh, boy. And now he's back to Mario Kart. <laughs> okay, whatever. All right. Pick of the day. Budding, um, and it shows a picture of a stage on 3DS. It's kind of like the Game Watch stage, except it's a Game Boy stage. Um, and he says, if you turn on 3D effect, it really looks like there's a Game Boy inside the screen. Uh, well, it'd be great if you could do like the Game Boy Color and just change the background and all that jazz. Yeah. <laughs> It would be awesome if, like, old Game Boy cameos would come on that stage or something. My yeah. catchers? Yeah. Yeah, that would be sweet. <laughs> and then, yeah, but they will probably, like, pick and check and catch you up probably, like, have it on the stage. Yeah. Yeah, but oh even, so, even still, it's a walk-off stage now, and it looks tiny. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Will you have to stay on in the green part, or can you go in the gray part? No, I think you have to stay in the gray. In the gray. No, I mean, that thing is tiny. Yeah, I know it is, yeah. Well, think about it, the Game & Watch stage is pretty tiny. No, the Game & Watch stage is bigger than that. Well, it might be perspective. I don't know. But let's move on to Soccer Troll. Pick of the day. Hello, I'm Samus, the intergalactic bounty hunter, and I am Meta Knight, joining the battle. Troll. <laughs> uh, I guess you can, uh, can get ball to carry the costume also. Oh my goodness, what a troll! 
Dude, and then I thought he was going to announce Meta Knight today, but no. Yeah, I did too. I think that's what everybody thought, you know. It was like, why would he just announce Meta Knight? Like, he showed us that the costume's obviously in. Yep. I don't even know if I want to read this next one, but I'll read it. Pick of the day, if you manage to raise this special flag for long enough, an additional KO count will be added to your score in a time match, or you'll get an extra stock for a stock match. When this appears on the stage, the fight for the flag becomes a fierce battle of tactics, which makes things pretty interesting. Cool, sure, fine, it's an item, okay. Yeah, wouldn't have expected them to give you like an extra life item in Met and Brawl or mainly or any Smash Bros. game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it just seems crazy. Like Mario Kart? Ah, darn it! Jeez. Alright, well, this is the perfect time for you to go play Mario Kart, Trey, since you don't care about Pokemon, and me and, me and uh, Blue Fire can talk about it. Do you have that, that link I sent you, Blue Fire? Yeah, I got you, I got you. I don't know if you've seen these yet, or not. But, um, Omega Red and, um... Uh, Alpha Sapphire. I mean, Omega Red, I think Omega Red, this is a model. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, right. um, looks pretty cool. It's a Mega Altaria. Yep, Mega Altaria, and it says um, it'll be a Dragon Fairy type with the ability yeah. Pixelate. I can, I can see that. That's OP! <laughs> That's OP! So yeah, it is pretty weird that they give it a pretty much almost invincible uh, typing and then give you the weakness of it also, so it can't really be hurt by fairy moves. Yep. <laughs> so you got to rely on ice. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Ice baby. Okay. Yep, it looks like a big fluff ball. Yep, somebody stuck a bunch of cotton balls to it. Yep, it's crazy. Yeah, the mega lopany. <laughs> yeah, lopany, lopany, whatever. I never really used the uh, binary or lopany, so I don't know how good uh, she is. But yeah, it looks interesting too. Normal fighting type is pretty good typing. Yeah. Yeah. And Scrappy, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, and yeah, then... Hey, it looks like an Omega, um... What's it called? Uh, 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 Salamence. That's cool. That's actually really cool. Yep, Mega Boomerang. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is crazy. Dude, it looks crazy. Yeah, it looks weird. It looks like a parachute going. It has like no <laughs> arms. Yeah, yeah they're they're gonna gonna make anything mega. make a mega fly on. Fly on bad settlements. <laughs> oh yeah, and this is perhaps the most interesting one here. With the Pikachu's. Oh, <laughs> with costumes. Yeah, but what makes it interesting is like when you fight with the different Pikachu's, they'll give you like special moves, you know. Special move, Kevin. That's an interesting <laughs> idea. Who's going to be trying to do a body slam in the fight in the Luchador costume? Yeah, what's that called? Flying press? Uh, it's down here. Uh, flying press, yeah. Yeah, so like, you get like a special, you get to like actually fight in costume and stuff, you know? Like, use those Pikachus. Mm. And uh, I guess... Is that only for Pikachus, or...? Yeah, right now. I mean, they haven't announced anymore, but you know, and you have to find... They said you had to find the Pikachu with the little heart shape on his tail. You see the black heart? Yeah. Yeah, you had to, like, find that one, and it's only that one that can be... Or, I guess you had to win it, maybe, at an event. Because we're in it to win it. That's interesting, I guess. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, like... Yeah, that's a ton of buff Pikachu could be huge. Yeah, Icicle Crash? That would be good for him. That's not even in his mood, uh, freaking, uh, mood set. That's weird. Yeah, I know. That, that gives them, like, a new move. Meteor, it says, Rockstar Pikachu gives Meteor Smash. PhD Pikachu will have Electric Terrain. Popstar Pikachu will get Draining Kiss. Bell Pikachu gets Icicle Crash. And Libre Pikachu gets Flying Press. That's hilarious. That's weird. That's awesome. Blood weird. Oh, yeah. And then finally, for this Koro Koro leak thing, we have a shiny Beldum. 
event. So pretty much they're giving you like a free, just like the Torchic thing before, yeah. for Mystery Gift, you get a free shiny Meta Megagross. Meta yeah, that's awesome, but freaking Veldum is not having the race. <laughs> It takes too much experience. That's the only thing about getting pseudo legendary or it's good to get pseudo legendary early, but they take forever to level up. Yeah. And then this mega metagross is weird. That's like, like a million legs. Yep. <laughs> and I would show y'all the um there's the core core stuff that's supposed to come like I said earlier from for Smash Bros and it did, but it was pretty much just screens that were ripped straight from the site and stuff. And just like, it was like nothing really. I mean, the only thing that might be something was they had, um, they showed like me costumes where, like, you know, you can get like frog hat costumes. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there was stuff and they showed the same as hats on the Mies again or same as outfits. Whatever. But, yeah. So that's that. Yeah. That is that is that. Is that is that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Trey, are you with us? Uh, I was going to say, yeah, speaking of DC movies, DC just had announced that they were going to move the Man of Steel movie or the Dawn of Super, uh, whatever, Dawn of Justice. They were actually going to move that to... Let me get out of the way of this road. Okay. Yeah, they're going to move to March 25th instead of where they were going to put it because they were going to put it out on the same day as Captain America 3. But they actually moved the movie up. And then DC goes ahead and announces that they're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 DC films in the works. Yep. And it's all the way through like 2020. Yeah, starting in 2016. Yep. So, I mean, did that mean that the Justice League movie will be pushed back until... Well, I guess the Justice League... Okay, because they didn't say what the movies are, but everybody's guessing that the new Justice League movie will be... Well, they have the date, so it's probably going to be July... 2000... or June 2017. That sounds better. But the Dawn of Justice movie is still going to be 2016. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but at least, at least it seems like we tried to get the whole universe going. True, but I guess that leaves Marvel with an opportunity to get the jump on them. Well, uh, Marvel's already in the jump. <laughs> oh, boy. Thought I would throw that out there for you guys. Appreciate it. We appreciate it. We appreciate your uh, concern with this podcast, Trey. And just so much, so much effort. Speaking of being what we're talking about, Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to watch out for you guys. Okay. Just like I watch out for the bridge help. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty excited about the uh, remakes, though, for Sapphire and Ruby. Yeah. You know the best series was the gold, silver, and crystal one. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, At the same time, I guess the third generation did sort of like make, I don't know. It seems more like the more current games with like height, with uh, ability and whatnot. Right. And since, uh, by the way, since this is uh, our tenth episode, I feel like we should give the um, listeners a little something extra, even though we got gave them a lot last week. Um, mm-hmm. We're going a little shorter than usual this week because it's just like we didn't have our anime recap and we didn't have um, just as much as we did to talk about in the past weeks. But uh, what about we do a little, a little, spe- a couple special segments here? Um, uh, I just, uh, I just, yeah, let's drop them. Let's drop them. All right, so. I want you to give me the rest of the Smash 4 um, roster, in your opinion. What is the remaining roster? Dixie Cup confirmed. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll help um, run through it. 
Dixie color confirmed. Uh, let me bring something up real quick. Egg boy, Rocky, Ludwig, Bar Cooper confirmed. Nah. Yeah, that's the part that I haven't even Cooper kid yet. Or not Cooper kid, Cooper Lane. Well, in my opinion, the only one that would get in is the Dowdy Dealer. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I, I use that a little bit more stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, we were, funny story, me and King's Hockey were racing yesterday with um, Egg Boy and who else was it? Kyle Cow. And yeah, we had some we had some pretty interesting stories to tell, let's put it that way. This footage should definitely go up on YouTube. It's already been going up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Huh? Which ones did you put up? I don't know. You had to look through them, I guess. Um, I'll keep putting them up. Yeah, if you want the race on Mario Kart and anybody, I'll put them up on YouTube. Only one where I win, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. That's already been... That clause has already been uh, removed. That's that nice. <laughs> Alright, well, back to my Smash question, guys. Um, so... Veterans we are missing right now include Wario, and we'll we'll run through them. Is Wario coming back? Yes. Okay, you can just say yes yeah. or no. That's fine. Ganondorf. Of course. Of course. Okay. Um, ice climbers. Uh, ice climbers. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't want them to, but they are. I don't want them to either, but they probably are. Rob? I hope so, but probably not. Okay, probably not. Okay, um, Meta Knight? Yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's pretty much been confirmed. He's officially, unofficially been confirmed. And this is weird, we got a lot of Star Fox missing Falco. I would say Falco. Falco, yeah. I would think Falco too. And Wolf is. Hands off my bread. Wolf? Personally, I prefer the air. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Pop, uh, maybe, maybe. Wolf is. Maybe. Yeah. I'll be the one to take you down. I gotta say, I think he's coming back. What's your mask, kid? Okay, okay. Enough brawl taunts, okay. Jigglypuff. The puff ball. Jigglypuff. Jigs is like 100% confirmed. You think so? I mean, she's I just know, losing I relevance in the Pokemon world, you know? Yeah. Uh, she, uh, she's been in the hall of them, but I can't really see her making it back with all these new folks. She's back. There would be range she wasn't back. If you count the. Pokemon Trainer, Pokemon, which... Oh, hello? Hi. Yeah. Oh, we're getting some static. Okay, there... Okay. Yeah. Alright, if you count the three Pokemon from the Pokemon Trainer, which I do as separate characters, then we have... Yeah. 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 Oh, no, I don't, I don't know if they're going to bring him back or not. I'm just saying in the Brawl roster, Pikachu, and then those three, and then Lucario, and then Jigglypuff, that's six Pokemon. And right now we have Charizard, Lucario, Greninja, Pikachu. All right, and that's it with four. So maybe we have maybe we have at least two more to come back. I don't think they'll bring a Pokemon trainer back. Nah, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Not unless like he has a new uh, region Pokemon. Right, and I think it's a little late. I don't know. I don't, cause they said they're entering the bottom of the barrel or whatever for the newcomers. Just a little more I think that's a pretty big reveal to be waiting on. Okay, so Jigglypuff is a probably maybe, but cause just cause of her being in all the other games, but it's still still possible that she could be, be cut. I think. I think she's back. Um, okay, and then we have Ness and Lucas both still unconfirmed. Ness! Ness has to make it back. I can't say the same for Lucas. 
Yeah. And finally, we have Snake. Yeah, the like guy, I guess who would be, you know, the one that Sagara would talk to about it, says he doesn't even know. So, like he said, he he didn't think he was coming back. So I'm pretty sure he's not coming back. But uh, yeah, I, I went over this question because I think that you know, within the next couple of weeks, sometime we will get the roster. I'm pretty sure. Um, it's because like in Japan, it's coming out early September, so that's getting closer and closer. Um, but who do you all think will be the newcomers that are left? There's only like a few left, they said. Dixie Cumberland. Maybe one or two. Dixie Cumberland. <laughs> no, uh, who else could be in there? I mean, if they don't bring Lucas back, it would be cool having them bring out the Earthbound character, or Mother character, so there aren't too many other ones. Not Porky. Go away, Porky. Yeah, yeah, not Porky. I hate Porky. Yeah, they do. They do. Uh, Facade or someone from Mother 3, or Duster. I've always wanted Duster. You uh, and nobody else. <laughs> I was just kidding, okay. Who else, who else, who else, who else, who else, who else, who else stand out in my head? I mean, I don't know too much about Chrono Trigger, but I'm interested in having some from there, maybe. I'll say the likelihood of that happening is like zero. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't well, they had the Gamatsu leak, right, which has, like, been pretty accurate aside from Krom not not being in the game, not being playable. But it's been pretty accurate predicting things like Wii Fit Trainer and Villager, some oddball ones that nobody saw coming, you know. And it's predicting chorus, the Chorus Men from Rhythm Heaven and Shulk. So that's, like, the, that, those are... In my mind, it's because that leak's been pretty good, but um, I don't I don't know if I want chorus men in it. Like that doesn't even mean anything to me as far as like. I don't even know my head. Shulk doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Okay, he's from Xenoblade, and you know this already, but okay. Bolin. Bolin. Yeah, Xenoblade. Um. It's a pretty big, pretty big series. I think Shulk will probably be in. That's another sword fighter-ish character. Yeah. yeah. But aside from that, I actually do. Uh, even with all I've said, I do think Dixie Kong is coming back. I mean, coming in, joining the battle. Dixie Kong is joining the fray. I think that. I think she is. I don't know. Like I just can't see. I don't know. Anybody else? Like Dixie Kong and maybe maybe a Pokemon? Maybe another Pokemon? I don't know. Yeah, well, like you said, they were going to bring another Pokemon that probably been uh, released earlier. Yeah, I mean, I feel that way too, but okay, there is still at least one or two left, he said, so I mean, I don't know who that is. And I hope to, I, dude, I just hope. Like, Ganondorf gets an alternate costume with that Hyrule Warriors look. That was awesome. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah, it would be. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you two, anything else to talk about today? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? You got something to talk about? Yeah, let, let's, let's talk, talk about top... Ten anime characters of all time. Anime characters? Anime characters. <sighs> I mean, how are we judging this? Just who we like, or who's the greatest, who's the strongest? Who the best female characters. <laughs> now it's female? <laughs> <laughs> Why does it got to be female? <laughs> Because, 
You've got, got the bottom of the barrel, which equals Sakura and Chi-Chi. And, and random fan service girls. And then you have the top of the barrel, which equals, like, the OP girls in the series. Do you really want to do girls? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, well, I guess if I had to choose going, uh, Shigeru from, uh, History Song, I'd like, well, good one. <laughs> yeah, she's awesome. <laughs> so, 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 she's, like, hilarious. <laughs> and she's a freaking monster. Yeah, she is. <laughs> yeah, that's just... Shigeru. Uh, I don't know, I don't, it's, it's, it's actually, actually kind of hard. hard. Yeah, it's not going to get up there for me, also. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can do, we can do top five, like, girl characters and top and bottom five girl characters. Like, it doesn't even matter what your criteria is, it's just bottom five, top five. Okay, <laughs> alright, who wants to go first? Okay, bottom five for me, like I said, Sakura, she's useless. You know, I used to defend Sakura, but she really is useless. For Naruto, that is. I know there's a billion people named Sakura, so. Clarify for Naruto. Second, Chi Chi from. Or maybe Bulma from Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't knock it. Yeah, uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to choose between those two. I'll just say the women of Dragon Ball Z, androids aside, of pretty useless characters. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah
Haruki to Orihime. Orihime served no purpose. I can't. No, I can't. Yeah, I can't because they're both useless. I mean, but Ruki has served a purpose at a point in time. No, she didn't. Orihime was worse. Ruki was terrible. Dude, Ruki. Dude, Ruki was better. <laughs> no, she wasn't. Dude. She served a purpose. So did Orihime. She was a shoulder to cry on. No, she was a, she, I, I cried because of her. She was a love interest. Rukia was a love interest. Rukia looks like a man. That's not until he redesigned her. <laughs> I don't care. He redesigned her to look like a little boy. Like a anywho, anywho. Yeah. We need, a, we need like a fifth person, I think. This is this it? Yeah. Um, wait, yeah. oh, wait, no, no, this is Trey's list. I ain't even yeah, got to do yeah, mine. Yeah, this is my list. And then final, okay, guys, just start naming some anime that I've watched and I don't remember a useless girl. But I'm having trouble Full Metal me. Alchemist. I can't really say there's a useless girl in that. Okay, don't talk about well, any girls in that because uh, there's a top five girl in that that I want to mention. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It's stupid idiot. But yeah, there's a because uh, what was her name? Uh, you know the girl, the love interest girl. Um, uh, um, well, uh, yeah. Winry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wasn't useless. Nah, yeah, she was with auto male. She was legit. Yeah, she was legit. Yeah, she was she was was useless. Yep, she's awesome. Uh, um, I'm trying to think. I can't think of another anime I've seen with useless girl characters. I mean, besides like random anime. <laughs> Junior Hakusho, uh, what's her name? Keiko. Yeah, Junior. Yo, Keiko, though? No! <laughs> You're just doing that to spite me. <laughs> Keiko, come on, bro. Oh, my goodness. Dude, she, if anybody's a love interest in any anime, it's Keiko, okay? She's a lot of but she doesn't do anything. But she serves a purpose. She serves a purpose. If not her, then Botan. Take your pick. Dude, Botan, what are you, what are you saying? Botan is like the freaking Grim Reaper, dude. Botan is power. What did she add to the plot? What did she add to the plot? What did she add to the plot? Um, the Grim Reaper? But they don't need a Grim Reaper. That's what the detective is for. If she was doing her job, then they would be... The detective doesn't go off just killing bad people. <laughs> if she was doing her job, then they wouldn't need Yusuke. Oh my goodness. Dude, she just... If she was doing her job, they wouldn't need another Grim Reaper. Dude, one. Okay, she, she just takes people where they need to go when they die, okay? She doesn't, she doesn't fight evil, okay? I don't know, man. It just sounds like she's fighting on the job. <laughs> My goodness. Please continue with your list, Trey. Okay, I'm trying to think of that one final girl character in anime that's useless. You need to... um, oh, it's hard. I mean, How I can't say Ken Ken from Naruto because I mean, that's just like an easy way out. Cause she's like... Right. What about Code Geass? I don't know if there's any useless characters in that. What about oh, Hunter x Hunter? I don't know too many girls in Hunter x Hunter. <laughs> I mean, I've seen, like, a little girl who uses, uh, poison, but I don't know if she comes back. It's too early for me to put the input in on that. There's Palm. She's legit, though. Palm, 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 Palm. Why can I not Dude, she's that? a crazy chick. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's... I wouldn't say she's useless. I didn't say, I didn't say she was, yeah. She's, but she's, she's not a great character, either. Like, she's not super important. All right, Attack on Titan. Uh, I wouldn't say there's any girl that are useless. Free, uh, not free, uh, fairy tale. I wouldn't say there's any girl that, I mean, the girls <laughs> of fairy tale are absurdly strong, I feel like. He, he gives more attention to detail to the girls than half the guys, I feel like. Oh, yeah, because he's a pervert, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Death Note. I she gets used like so hard in that she she but that, yeah, she she the plot, I guess. I guess. I mean, cause, um, who was it? Misa had her like death 
have God, and she also had her dead no. And then the other girl, she was like, you know, getting used, but she was getting used as if she was useful. So. All right, Attack on Titan. That's pretty useful. Who's useless? Light sister. If anything, she's the reason why Dad died. I don't remember. I, I mean, mean, she, she wouldn't be talking about it. Cause she was, she was as easy as much as she was a relative. Uh, what about Attack on Titan? I mean, uh, I don't know if there's any girls that are useless. Uh, Maybe 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 ten ten just I mean but I don't know that's such a cheap out she's not I don't know as far as the series goes yeah it might have to be Rukia or he may have Rukia with Robo probably have to be in there based off the importance to the series without without like you know actually doing anything I guess okay uh, do you want to go next Blue Fire or do you want me to go so I just got my list. My list was Rukia Orihime, mm -hmm. Sakura from Naruto. Mm -hmm. Dude, who were the other two that big? Oh, I said um, girls from um, Hitman Reborn. And DBZ, Bulma. Oh yeah, and DBZ girls. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I guess I could go. Okay, go ahead. Uh, not to bite off a uh, train list, but yeah, I put Chi Chi out there. I think Ball might be serving you. She doesn't fight, but she's smart. She's yeah, and Dragon Ball, it was like all her. And then if you want to count Chi Chi, which I think is blasphemous, <laughs> she's the one who got Vegeta got Super Saiyan 4, so. Um, oh, Pan, though, Pan. Yeah, Pan was pretty useless, too, but that's not my dick. <laughs> Uh, I still say Rahime was useless. I wouldn't say Rukia is so much. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Both on the end? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, uh, let's see. Who else? Um, gotta think. Gotta think. Got to think. I mean, hold uh, Yep. Yeah. I, I guess, guess you could say almost any girl with Pokemon is useless. <laughs> <laughs> any like female protagonist in Pokemon is useless just about because they they don't flash. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're like the designated female character. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I need mean, two others. Uh, Like as far as bottom five, the how important they are to the series, the way that you notice their, you know, insignificance, like or their, you know, worthlessness, <laughs> even though they're trying to be put in the series, you know. And that, yeah, I don't. Ugh, this is my head hurting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, do you want me to go and you can finish? Well, I'm sure you have to agree with the girl from Hitman Reborn. I mean, they were so useless. They even brought yeah. them into the future arc and they did nothing. They never learned how to fight. He only had a group of like seven and other little girls. There's only like two exceptions in the next series, and that's Lau Merch and the uh, son Archibaldino. And that's only because she was an Archibaldino. Oh yeah! Wait, what, what's that one girl? I forgot that was a girl. You know, the one he Huh? You know, um, the one girl Ethan with the role. Oh, yeah, and the little girl with the egghead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about her. Yeah, Ethan was good too. Um, correct. But she did uh, suck, let's be clear. When she actually came to fight, she sucked. Oh, yeah, she's a baby also, so. <laughs> I mean, even in her adult form, she sucked. She didn't win anything. 
any fights. Oh, yeah, well, we all have to come, come to a consensus, consensus that nobody mattered in that series except Lambo. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So are you going to finish your list or not? I'm trying. I'm trying. But I don't want to overlap too much on uh, Trey's list. Mm. <laughs> uh, well, let's face it. There aren't too many girl, useless girl characters in anime. I mean... I would say there aren't too many useless ones, but that aren't important, I guess. Um, or at least a love interest. Not to start a fire, but uh, yeah, I think Keiko's pretty useless. I'm just gonna see this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, are you leaving it at that? <laughs> no, I need one more. Oh um, if you watch Zash Bell, there's a girl named. Uh, She's like, got short brown hair, I forgot her name, she's just a suit. I think she's supposed to be a love interest that just didn't commit, and so she's pretty much just an airhead. <laughs> <laughs> and her name, all of her, she's like, make faces on fruit, and she always whined and needed help and all that. Yeah. But yeah, I forgot it, it's her. I think her name was like Yumi or something like that. Yeah. I guess that rounds out my list. Yay. <laughs> Um, okay, so, for my list, <laughs> I'll have to put, definitely had to put Sakura in there, because if anybody, Sakura was supposed to be hyped up as one of the main trio in the series, but she did nothing, and she's like, keeps getting overhyped for no reason in that series, so that's like probably number one on my list. Um, aside from her, I don't know who to pick between Rukia and Orohime. Yes, I do. Rukia, what am I saying? Oh, my dear. Rukia was stupid. <laughs> At least Orohime looks like a girl. And you were talking about my girl Keiko, so that's all I can do for you. Okay, okay, okay. So shut up. This is my list. <laughs> okay, and then we got um. Oh shoot, who do we got? Who do we got after that? Okay, we got them two. We got um. Dude, I gotta say Lucy Hartfilia. Lucy, Lucy, who's that? Lucy Hartfilia. <laughs> Oh, no, she's not useless. Dude, she's freaking useless. She uses other freaking people to do her work for her. No, she's useless. Uh, during that tournament, what are they called? Uh, yeah, and she can use a whip, too. She can fight with a whip. She's useless. She gets a Castlevania on and call her useless. Yeah, she's a, she's a beast, actually. She's useless. Dude, she, she actually seems that way compared to like Natsu and Gajil and Gray and Urza. Urza. You can't exactly. Be okay. Well, it doesn't make her useless. It doesn't mean she's not that strong. Yeah, like she actually has a purpose. Like, if you took her out of the Okay, okay, okay. Okay. That show sucks, anyways. Okay. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Okay, um, I have to agree. Yeah, it is. Most of the DBZ Z girls are useless. Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> I mean, but truthfully, they just do their part. They're not like, I don't know. It's pretty much if you're a girl, you're just good for, like, passing on your genetics. Like, <laughs> that's it. Oh, my goodness. Well, Bulma was pretty legit in the first, in like Dragon Ball, she was alright. And then GTS, Blue Fire said. She was alright. But let's, let's, let's uh, move on to our, our best guy. Because really, I'm just going to pick some of the guys that you, some of the girls that you picked. So let's move on to our top five. Okay, top five girls. And this is not top five hot girls, this is just top five and then... Girls. I hear a robot. <laughs> 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 
Who could spring up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because if she was a villain, Nazi would beat her. But since she's not a villain, Nazi can't beat her. Right. Logic of the show. A paradox. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. Also, I would have to go with Claire from Claymore. Even though Claymore's not the best show, but she was just an awesome character in that show. Okay. She's you know she was like you know all powerful. She all had the dark emo thing going on. Where it was like. We're going to fight no matter what. Yeah. yeah. Pretty awesome character. Another character is Shigure from... Uh, Hello? 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 Yeah. Hello? I wish you, I wish you Hello? didn't live Hello? in uh, a faraway land, uh, Mr. Memories. Okay, so you were saying... You were talking yes. about... Um, yeah, Shigure is also an awesome character. Yeah. You know, she does whatever she... You know, she just like... At the beginning of this series... You got the sense that she was just like a useless character because everyone else trained Kenichi where she didn't. Yeah. But then once you get midway through the series, she becomes a beast. Like, he shows how much of a beast she is. Like, even though she's like... If you could put, like, fan service in the dictionary, it would have a picture of Sigure in it. <laughs> but she's still an awesome character. One of the only characters in the series that could be, like, so fan service, but yet so useful at the same time. Well, Mew's p pretty useful too, right? Yeah, I mean, she's useful too, but I wouldn't say she's as useful as Shigure, because Mew is more of a troll. Whether yeah. she can beat the characters that Kenichi's fighting, or just like... Oh gosh, what is that noise? It's an air raid. I hate air raids, apparently. <laughs> Alright, uh, No, <laughs> so, uh... Stay, stay, stay. It's outside of my house. Oh! oh it's <laughs> coming back. It's coming back. It sounds like a Boo Boo Zayla had like a like had that retarded brother and just like unleashed him. <laughs> All right. So continue. Yeah, I would say that Mew. She's not. She's strong, but I wouldn't say she's as good as Sugar A because she's a troll. Whereas she can technically beat all the characters that Kenichi's fighting. But she won't do it because she's letting him learn himself. Yeah. So she's technically a troll. She's uh, a troll! My goodness! <laughs> what is that? My ears. It's like a side. I'm near my house. I'm complaining about beluga whales ever again. Yep. Bring back the whales. Save the whales. <laughs> okay. Continue, yeah, the what, three? Yeah. So. Then I'd have to say Colin from Code Geass. Dude, how awesome was that girl? Oh, yeah, she's legit. Yeah, she was legit. She, like, you know, she even beats, um, not to spoil anything, but, okay, I won't spoil it, but for anybody that wants to watch it. But, yeah, she, like, ends up beating, like, a strong character in that series. Yeah, like, you know, using her, um, what was it, the Gurren Mach something? Yeah, yeah, she was a beast. She, she was a beast. And yeah, so she was an awesome character. The, I would say that Kogias had a bunch of strong girl characters, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess. And, and then for my final, for my fifth, now here's where we get tricky. Because I got, I got the ones out of the way that I need to get out of the way. But as far as usefulness to the series, and as far as... Just overall awesomeness. Yep. Hmm. 
I might. I would. I'm almost tempted to say, um, what's her name from? From. Yeah, Blue Fire's signal must be, or his little siren, or whatever air raid, whatever's going on, must be interfering with our call. Yes. Yeah. While you were talking, he was off of it for a while. Yeah, I was gonna say I almost don't know if I should who I should pick with the last character. I'd almost have to say the girl from Attack on Titan. Oh, um, uh, Annie. Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty. She's pretty cool. Yeah, because she's pretty useful. And so, yeah, I might ha I might be tempted to say her, because I can't, at the moment, I can't think of any other anime. Okay. Mm, yeah, okay, I'll go with that five. Seems like a powerful five right there. <laughs> All right. We'll try and get Blue Fire back with us sometime. Uh, but in the meantime, I guess I'll do mine. <sighs> I got to say, is he back? Oh, no, he's not back. You know what I'm Hang on. I gotta say that. Hello. I'll, yes. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> hello. Hello. Okay. Cool. The air raid has stopped. All right, I'm actually gonna hang up on y'all and call you back. Oh, because okay. just because uh, I don't, I want the recorder to work, and I think it's been going crazy. So let me just make sure it works. All right, we're good. Hello? Hello? Alright, we're good. Alright, so I was about to do my list here, Blue Fire. Uh, Trey, oh. recap your list for Blue Fire real quick. Okay, my list ended up being Urza, Claire from Claymore, um, Shigure from Hitcher Strong Disciple, uh, I forgot. Colin? Yeah, Colin from Code Geass. And then, um,. The girl from Attack on Titan. Annie. Nah, no, Mikasa. No, Annie. Oh. Annie? Wait. Really? Which, which one? one? Annie. No, the main Annie girl. was the female Titan. Oh, you Mikasa? mean Mikasa? Oh, no, yeah, Mikasa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, well, I'll do mine. Um, Since I was already starting. All right, I don't know what the order is, but, okay, it's definitely got to be Hawkeye, Lieutenant Hawkeye from... Uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, yes, Brotherhood. Okay, uh, because she's, dude, she's just a beast. She's awesome. She's loyal. She has no fear. She shot the uh, freaking, what's his face, the big fat one, uh, gluttony in the face like a billion times. It was awesome. Um, Hello. Uh, next. What? What? Hello? Mushy Mushy? Hello? Blue Fire? Blue Fire? Says he's still on. Maybe he crashed down somewhere. Okay. Alright, well, anyways, we'll continue while it's happening. Okay, another one of mine would have to be Medusa. From, oh, what in the world? Would, it, would have to be Medusa from Soul Eater. I don't know if you've seen that yet. Uh, nope. But Medusa is like... An awesome, uh, she's a villain in that, obviously, Medusa, okay, but she's awesome. She's, like, really crafty and just crazy. She's awesome. Um, and another, my next one would have to be probably, I don't know, you picked all the good ones. <laughs> so, I mean, I definitely like our Urza would definitely be in there. Hers is legit. She's awesome. Um, oh, yeah. What have I said? Just two? Three? Three. Well, you said Hawkeye. Medusa and Urza, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, to finish this, um, Asuna, I said, from Sword Art Online. Dude, she actually kind of falls off after the second part, like, during the second part because she's captured. But she's still... Hello? Dead. Yes. Blue fire. Hello. Yeah, did not crash down, but yeah. <laughs> For whatever reason, I could hear you, but apparently you couldn't hear me. Okay. But uh, awesome is awesome, especially during the first half of that uh, first season. Um, 
And who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? What is that for? I only heard like two. <laughs> I got okay. I got um, Medusa from Soul Eater. I got Hawkeye from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and I got um, uh, Urza, and then I got Asuna. From, Asuna. Yeah, Asuna from uh, Sword Art Online. Oh. Yeah, she's awesome. Okay, and then for my final pick, dude, who's it going to be? Oh, my goodness, I don't know. I have some we need to pick from, but I think I'm going to go with Keiko. Oh, gosh. Oh, Keiko Mark. is legit. Okay, tell, let me tell you why. Dude, okay, that is the best shonen love story there is, okay? The is best. it? It's the best. Is it? It's the best. <laughs> Have you, seen, it? have you seen the ending scene where they dive, or he dives at her, and they see each other again after he's been beating up people for three years? Okay, it's awesome. Okay, is it? It's awesome. Okay, it's close to my heart. It's near and dear to my heart. Is it? <laughs> yes, it is. I don't know, man. Yes. No, if if no. anything, not to give this into another discussion, but if, if I had to pick one as like the best romantic story, it either have to be, I don't know what Steins Gate or like History Strong Disciple, maybe. No, uh, see, you just get a little taste of. No, History Strong Disciple, dude, you can't call that a love story. Dude, it is more than it dude, is. No, dude, no, no, no. Because to me, just all the fan service in that series just turns me off to it. It's just like, it's just like too much. It's just everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere, and I just get distracted by. It. I can't even like read that series because it's just like everywhere. It's just like bothering me like crazy. It's just boom, boom, boom everywhere. Yep. <laughs> I can't even like respect the girls because it's just they're. I feel like they're being abused in that in that series. Yeah, if you can disregard the booms. <laughs> and focus on, <laughs> on Kenichi and Miyu and the granddad because he flips out when she kisses him. <laughs> um, yeah, it's actually a pretty decent love story. Okay, but love pretty decent story, like, not great. Dude, like, oh my God. Like, like six different love triangles. Dude, but first. Keiko was crying, okay? Keiko was crying because Yusuke was going to leave her. Dude, Kenichi has to save Mew from, like, captivity. Ke Dude, Yusuke has to save Keiko from freaking the demons coming over and taking over the world. Dude, the guy that captured Mew pretty much was a demon. Right. It was okay, in his title. there's a difference between pretty much and definitely was. But it, it was in his title. It, was in his title. <laughs> it actually was. <laughs> and Keiko sucks. Oh, my goodness. No, dude, okay. Dude. And he had, and he had to he had to fight Mew, and and not only did he have to fight her, but he had to fight her without hurting him. When she was not only like better, yeah, she was better than him also. I hear you. I hear what you're saying, but I'm just not agreeing with you. So he not only had to fight for the girl he loved, he had to fight and protect his principles also. Oh, how do you not? How do you not appreciate that? <laughs> Because Yusuke had the classic love story, okay? The classic of just like, you know, I'll be back once I save the world kind of love story, okay? And they would they would tease each other, you know, all the time, just like when they were growing up little kids. Dude, it's like the old next-door neighbor, you know, marry the be your best friend story, yep. Sounds like me and Karen. Is it, though? <laughs> is, it, is it really? Is it really? Yes, it is. Have you seen the whole thing now? Yes, I've seen it begrudgingly, but no. 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 That's great. No. Keiko sucks. No. It's my list. <laughs> Make your uh, own. Uh, okay, then I guess it's my turn. Yes. All right. Uh, well. Keiko, number one. 
No, Keiko's like <laughs> oh, uh, Keiko. Keiko's in my worst place. No, anyway, awesome. no, no, yep. no. What was that that you said? This is my list. This is my <laughs> list. Well, you know, <laughs> so. begrudgingly, I have to accept that. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, I guess if we think Full Metal, what was her name? Lon Fon, the uh, ninja. She was oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as much as our guy. Nah, she was a beast through and through. She sacrificed her arm for the wing. That is and a point. She came back. When she came back, she was even more beastly. No, do you know and what Hawkeye did, though? You Hawkeye. know what she did, though? No, she Hawkeye. She like, in control of her arm quicker than Edward gained control of his limbs. She Hawkeye was a beast. Hawkeye was a personal assistant to um, the worst bad guy in the whole series. Okay. Okay. Yes, just because she was so loyal. He's uh, ain't but, loyal. But who's who's who is this? No. I don't know anymore. Um, I don't know anymore. <laughs> you interrupted mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, Lon Fon, and then yeah, I'd also have to take Urza, only because of that uh that a uh, tournament where she took out the hundred uh, monsters. I, I was like two beasts. Yeah, that was a big. I all about that. It was just a simple fact that she's a was it Pythonia? That's her uh, her name, her nickname, or yeah. her handle. <laughs> yeah, she she's a monster. Um, let's see who else. I might have to say Yoroichi from Bleach. Oh uh, yeah, she was awesome. Yeah, she she's like consistently good. Like um. Even when she fought, I think it was Eisen, and she had like the uh, things on her. She had like the Hulk hands, basically, which I thought was stupid, but she was still a beast. <laughs> but uh, let's see, just there. There's Blue. No, that's actually not my dog. Oh, <laughs> Uh, let's see. I still pick Shigure because Shigure is she's awesome. She, uh, I think I just like how weird she is. And then her and the pocket <laughs> make things extra hilarious. Because he's so silly and she's so odd. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, who I round out my list with? And don't say Keiko. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I wouldn't be rounding out the list with Keiko. I'd be putting her at the top. Uh, Keiko needs to go form her list somewhere else. She needs to go, go, go away for Yusuke to save the world. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> let me think. Uh, it might take a while for you to do that. I guess I might put Misa in the list. Misa, Misa from Death Note. Dude, really? I mean, even though she got used badly, yes, dude, even though she got used badly and she was completely blinded by her weird, twisted love for White Kira, oh. <laughs> she was, like, actually essential to the series. Oh. <laughs> like, Elle wouldn't have died without her. Yes, which is a sin. Anyway, she needs to go away. <laughs> And then the fact that I think L actually sort of liked her, at least in the anime, I thought was hilarious. Misa, Misa. Yeah, Misa, Misa. She's whack. Uh, I mean, there's whack, and then there's Keiko. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's Keiko, and then there's anybody else that's not as good as her. By not as good, you mean extremely better than yes. No, by not as good, I mean not as important to the story. Not as important to the story, <laughs> but what important thing, Keiko. Got you. No, I mean, use case whole driving, dr drive behind his whole being was Keiko, okay? I mean, but you can say that about almost any. No, okay, like if Keiko different. wasn't there, he would have been dead, okay? He would not have survived the fire to save the world. Dude, if Kenichi, if, if Mia wasn't there, Kenichi wouldn't even be a warrior to begin with. Good. Yeah, no, it's he, Kenichi would one. just, he'd be a whip. He'd be a snake. He'd be a worm. <laughs> yeah. If Mia wasn't there, 
Even though Arthur wouldn't have anybody to be perverted ever. <laughs> you would find more people. There's <laughs> <laughs> all like six other coals in the fire. <laughs> no, no, no. Yep. Can't do it. Keiko for life. Hey. Hashtag Keiko. Okay, when I name my daughter Keiko, you can't you can't make fun of her and say she's bottom tier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not naming my daughter Keiko. I was about to say, why, why would you subjugate her to such a, a name with a character of such horrible potential? Yeah, you're going to have child services coming after you saying you, like, you know, like, feminism, like, feminists coming after you and all that. Like, you think your daughter is irrelevant? No. Actually, okay, we might have named her Keiko, but uh, I didn't have a choice in the matter. That mm -hmm. wasn't an option. And don't say it's because she's bottom five. She's awesome. Keiko for the win. <laughs> Blue Fire, you're going to name your daughter Keiko one day. No, no. Yes, you will. No, 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 no. Once no. you rewatch watch Yu Yu Show and realize how awesome that series is. Um, I can watch it a million times and Keiko would still be bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's awesome. Do you want me to tell you what Keiko brings to the series? Awfulness? Awesomeness? Awfulness. No, is awfulness a word? It's a word when it applies to Keiko. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Keiko, save Yusuke, okay, from the burning fire, okay? She has a one... Uh, cute relationship with him by them teasing each other just like young love, okay? And then she goes with him to the spear world, cheers him on. Oh, before that, she gets kidnapped by Hiei. Whoa, sounds like a damsel in distress. Yes, that's good though, okay, in this case, because she actually loves him, okay? It's not like they save the person and there's no love, okay? They don't love each other, it's just a weak... No, okay. It's not a character that the author just threw in there just to be saved, okay? It's a character that has real meaning to the story. It's the reason why Yusuke fights. And with that being said, I think we can end this episode. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 We're supposed to end on a high note, uh, hockey. What does TK stand for? Two Keiko? <laughs> <laughs> yep. To Keiko, my love. Oh my goodness. She's supposed awesome. to end it on a high note. Don't end it on that. That's awful. She's awesome. She's awful. She's awesome. She's awful. Because I'm awesome. Yay. Keiko for the win. Okay, but aside from Keiko being awesome, do you guys have anything else to say? Um, hashtag, uh, yeah, I kicked those up. Okay, anything else? Nope, maybe, possibly. Okay. Hashtag battle mode in podcast equals fun. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, with that being said, we can end the episode, we can tell... <laughs> We can end it by telling everybody how awesome Keiko is and where they can find you. All right, so Blue Fire, how awesome is Keiko? She is not, but uh, you can find me on uh, Meverse. Uh, my name is Blue Fire Crash Down, no O. Uh, on Twitter at Azure underscore Ursus. Okay, don't follow him. He doesn't like Keiko. Okay, Trey, where can I? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, Trey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you? you can find me contemplating whether I should visit anybody in Florida at Roman Noah <laughs> 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 You can find me going through uh, withdrawals at Roman Noah Trade 15 at uh, Twitter, or you can find me at Roman Noah Trade 15 slash hashtag should I text back at on Meverse. Okay. 
And you can find me and Keiko at OP Kings Hockey on Meverse or um, at Kings underscore Hockey on Twitter. And actually, you can also leave a comment on our uh, videos on YouTube. You can actually get us on iTunes too if you'd rather listen that way on the go, you know. Uh, just look up. Thumbs up if you think Keiko's bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> Say, give us a thumbs up if you think uh, Keiko's bad. And give us a thumbs up if you think Keiko's great. Thumbs up either way, okay. Um, I, yes, what was I saying? Yes, you can find us on iTunes at the TK Podcast. You can just look that up. Um, or you can also email us at opkingshockey at gmail.com. Or you can comment or follow us on Meverse and let us know that way. Let us know anything you want to talk about, topics, um, anime suggestions to review, anything like that. And with all that being said, we're out. Peace. Okay, go sucks.